let's go to Glasgow where we can speak to Richie Mercian. He is the Climate and Energy Program Director at the independent think tank, the Australia Institute. Richie, thank you very much for joining us here on our show. Does this pledge really make sense if some of the world's biggest uh, producers and users of coal aren't signing on? Yes, it does. Ultimately, it's reducing the markets for coal, which will impact major exporters, Australia being probably the largest exporter of coal in the world. And also, whilst the US didn't sign on today, earlier this week in Glasgow, they did commit to their high ambition coalition statement that said that they will phase out their coal power as they are on track to hit 100% clean energy by 2035. So the US is on board, even if it hasn't signed up today. And other countries are looking at what they're doing. Big coal using countries like Indonesia, which is also the largest exporter of the coal we use to burn for power, is also looking at how it can fast track its own coal phase out. So it is a good day in terms of doing something concrete to address climate change. But what would it take to get uh, big coal users and producers, uh, China, the US, for example, to phase out coal more quickly? For developing countries, money makes a major difference. South Africa, a major coal user and producer, has committed to phase down its fossil fuels thanks to $8.5 billion that will be mobilized from the US, the EU, um, and other developing countries. Indonesia will fast track its phase out if more money is put on the table. And you can't help but think the economics are on our side. Coal power is not as cheap as it used to be. A lot of the coal power stations that exist around the world are breaking down more often. And so you're going to see the economics improve and more financial opportunities come forward from developed countries, from investors to actually build the clean energy that will provide cheaper electricity. Can we get to net zero emissions without phasing out coal globally in the near future? No, look, coal is the largest single source of greenhouse gas emissions. You can't transition if you keep growing the problem. And the first thing we need is a halt on any new coal-fired power stations around the world. And alongside that, a halt, a stop on any new uh, coal mines. And that's a major issue, especially for a country like Australia, which has 100 fossil fuel projects currently on the books. Uh, including over 70 new coal mines. You can't get to net zero by 2050 if you keep growing the problem. And the International Energy Agency has said that we can't afford to have any new fossil fuel projects going forward. It's great to see Alok Sharma in the UK actually address fossil fuels because they're not mentioned in the Paris Agreement. Coal and gas are not mentioned in the Paris Agreement. And so for the first time at a UN climate convention, we're taking concrete steps to actually phase out coal, which is essential if we want to keep to a safe climate. Richie Merzian, the Climate and Energy Program Director at the Independent Think Tank, the Australia Institute. Thank you very much for joining us here on DW.